Hey everybody, Cliff Ravenscraft here with PodcastAnswerMan.com and I wanted to record a tutorial for you on how to use the Snapchat application. Now, I know the first question anybody's gonna have for me is, Cliff, how did you record that tutorial? Well, I am using ScreenFlow to record this. It's software on my Mac computer that allows me to record from an iOS device and even bring in my audio from my equipment that I have in the studio. All, you can get the software over at podcastanswerman.com slash get screenflow. All right, now let's talk about Snapchat. First of all, I have fallen in love with Snapchat. It reminds me of the early days of Twitter, back when Twitter was all about sharing what are you doing right now, giving you a glimpse inside the between the post moments of your friends. I could go on and on about what I love about Snapchat, but that's not what we're here to talk about today. We're talking about how do we use this application that we're looking at right now. It is not intuitive at all. And so if you have loaded up the software and you're thinking, man, I just don't get this, you're not alone. There's no real intuitive design to it whatsoever, but I am going to help you. Now, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is to get Snapchat and create a username and password and then load the application. Once you have an account and you're logged in, you should be brought to a screen that looks just like this. This is the camera screen, it is the main screen. Every time you open Snapchat, you are gonna be open to camera mode, all right? And I wanna explain to you what each of these things are. Now, uh, the first thing that you're gonna see, it's up here, that right there, that little icon, is the ability for you to turn your camera around. So if I click that button one time, you'll see that it shows the rear camera, and if I click it again, you'll see that it switched it back over to me, front-facing camera mode. So that's what that little icon is. A little tip for you, you can just double tap anywhere on the screen and it will also flip the camera. So you don't have to reach all the way up there to get that. Another icon you'll see right here, this is the little flash thing that turns the flash on and off. Uh, especially for those who take a lot of photos with the front-facing camera, it will create a little burst of white light when it takes your photo so that it gives you a little extra light. I personally always leave it off, I think. I don't. I can't remember ever turning it on. Then there are a couple of other things that you may see. Uh, down here, you'll see a little red number two it, that sometimes is different colors, but the two indicates to me that I have two personal messages. And that's the first thing that we're going to do. I'm gonna tell you how to look and get personal messages. So we're gonna put your th finger right there and we're gonna swipe this way, all right? So we're gonna put our finger on the left part of the screen and swipe right. And that is going to bring us into our messages mode. Now what you'll see here is I have an entire list of people that I've had some interactions with. Check out and see what Leslie Samuel has to say, which by the way, let me uh, bring that down. I'm gonna swipe right on Leslie's name and he says, anything in particular you want me to say, just hello, hello to who? Uh, and then I'm just gonna click on here and hello to everyone. There we go, and hit send. So that was a chat message. You can see that you can actually have a chat in text back and forth. The real beauty of this app is that it allows you to have interaction live with people if you want. In fact, I can see that Leslie has now signed in. That gave me his little blue pulsating icon. And if I want, I can actually hold this button and hold it down and Leslie sees that I'm live. And if I hold this down, he should see this in a second. He'll hold down his blue button and we can have a live chat back and forth. Hey, Leslie, what's up? Not much, how you doing? I can't hear you because of the way that I have things set up right now, but the folks who are watching the tutorial can hear you. Gotcha. Uh, so it's getting recorded that way in ScreenFlow. Cool. So uh, I just wanted to demonstrate that we could have live interaction in our chats uh, back and forth. So say hello to everyone. Hello, everyone. Hope you all are doing well. All right. And you'll send me a personal chat, or a, a personal snap video so I can show them that as well? I definitely will, man. Awesome. Thanks, brother. No problem. Take have care. a great day. All right, so I did notice that there was a little bit of a garbled sound when Leslie was talking. I just played it back for myself. That is not how he sounds on Snapchat. Unfortunately, the software recorded it that way, and there's nothing I can do for it about it at this point. However, he did send me a personal snap. This is a video snap, and I'll explain to you what a snap is in just a moment. Let's go ahead and see what Leslie had to say. I'm gonna go ahead and click on his name and scroll over to the right, and then we're gonna hit tap to view. Hey guys, Leslie Samuel here from becomeablogger.com and I hope you're having a fantastic day. If you're not on Snapchat yet, get on it. Trust me, I'm a blogger.
<laughs> All right, so there you go. Now, what I can tell you is that when it comes to sending people private messages, this is what Snapchat was built on originally. So you pretty much had camera mode that would allow you to record, and then you could actually use this to this message center to send chat messages back and forth. You had the ability to um, re- to see people's snaps as well. And what a snap is, let me explain to you a snap. A snap is either a photo or a video that is anywhere between one to 10 seconds in length. That's a snap, every snap. And so if I want to, I can go ahead and just click the little button there and you can see that it froze. Actually, let me, I'm gonna click the X at the top left corner. So you'll notice there'll be an X up here after I take a picture. I'm just gonna tap on this button one time. This is the camera button. If I just tap on it, and and I'm gonna say cheese because I wanna, I don't wanna have a crazy screen capture of me. So I'm gonna smile. All right, so there you go. Now I have taken a photo or a snap. And you can see the little timer icon down at the bottom left-hand corner. It's got a little timer. It says 10 in it. And that means that if I send this right now to somebody, it will display for them for 10 seconds. But I can say it, set it to where they can only see it for one second all the way up to 10 seconds. So let's go ahead and change it to 10 seconds. And then you'll see right next to the timer icon, bottom left-hand corner, you have a down arrow and that, and it points to a little line. That lets you download this photo. So if I want, I click that and it just saved that photo to my camera roll, all right? Now, there is a square with a plus sign in the top right-hand corner. That is to send it to your story. We're gonna talk about stories in just a moment. Now, um, there is an arrow over on the right-hand side that kind of pulsates a little bit, and that is the thing where you can click on it to choose who you're going to send this to. Now, we're gonna not do that just yet, but I do wanna show you some other things here. Number one, you can add text overlay, so you could actually say hello, and hit done, and you can move that down or up on your photo, and if you want to, you could click the text icon, the little big T, or the big T up there, and you can move your text around. You can uh, use two fingers to expand it out. You can turn it sideways. You can move it all around, kind of like what you see me doing here, all right? And another thing that you can do is you can click on the little crayon icon in the top right-hand corner, and you can draw on the screen. So if you wanted to, you could give me a mustache like that, or you could hit the little back arrow up the top and erase it. Now, every now and then, I'm gonna go ahead and click the little uh, air thing there. Oh, I've got a little message coming in on my phone. Anyways, every now and then you might wanna write something and you'll notice that, hmm, that doesn't actually come through too well because the the O is kind of getting lost with the background the, that's white. And so what I can do here is I can take my red crayon and I can draw little squiggly lines behind it to give it greater contrast. Now, some people get little artsy and stuff like that, but that is something that you can do. If you ever want to add white text onto a background where it gets lost, then you can do that. Now, there is also this little post-it note here, and it's where you can add emoji and stuff like that. I'm gonna go to my recents here and see what I have. Uh, If I want, I could use some rain and I can make that big, and we can put it like I'm perspiring. How's that? And I wonder if I can add some more rain, and I wonder if I can move that around, and yeah, we can. So we can, we can do that, and so yeah, so I just, I, we can say I just worked out, and that's what I wanna do. All right, and so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to click the little button down here that is the arrow that's pulsating. This is the bottom right-hand corner, and I am now going to hit, once you have hit the arrow, you'll have a list of options of where you can send this. The first place is my story. We'll talk about stories in just a moment, but we're gonna go ahead and just send this to Leslie Samuel, one of my friends, and I will just go ahead and set, click the little arrow. Now that I've hit the star there, I click the arrow and it'll send off. Now, let me go over here and choose another picture and hit the arrow again. And now you'll see that those were stars. That's because these people are listed as my best friends. These are the people that I interact with the most right now 
on Snapchat. And that'll change depending on who you're sending personal snaps with the most. Now, you'll see recents down here as well. And then you'll have an alphabetical list of all the people you follow. A little tip, by the way, you can change the name of any person, how they're displayed in your contact list. And you'll see an A hyphen next to the names of these people here. And that's because everything's listed in alphabetical order. And I want the people that I send snaps to the most to be easily found in my list because I have, as you can see, a lot of people that I'm connected to on Snapchat. And these are the people that I interact with the most. And so I make sure it's easy for me to find them. So if you're just starting out, you may not have some best friends yet. You may not have the stars, but you'll see the little square. And so if I want, I can choose to click on Jason here and hit the little button down at the bottom and it will send it to Jason. And of course, if I want, I can send this picture to multiple people. Now this picture right there is not a picture I wanna send. So I'm gonna click the X button at the top left-hand corner and I don't have to send that to anyone. Oh boy, so let's see, how much have we done? We've talked about swiping over here and seeing your messages back and forth. We have talked about the camera and taking a photo. Next, what you can do is actually take video. Now, this is gonna get a little confusing here because I'm gonna record video and then you're gonna see it re-loop, 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 okay? So let's go ahead and do this. Hey everybody, do you notice how that little button down there is filling up? The, see the red full, filling up all the way up there? Now, when it gets all the way filled, it's gonna cut you off. All right. Hey everybody, do you notice how that little button down there is filling up? The, see the red full, filling up all the way up there? Okay. Now, when it gets all now, I'm gonna hit the little speaker icon, which will mute that on the left-hand side. Now, um, it, what it will do is it's gonna keep looping this video back because it's not gonna do anything to this video or with this video until you choose to send it to someone or send it to your story. Everything that I can do to a picture, I can do to a video also, but let me go ahead and just uh, take another snap. All right, so there's my picture again. All right, now the next thing I wanna tell you about are filters. If I swipe to the right, I just tap in or anywhere on the screen, I just put my finger on there, swipe to the right, this gives me a filter. And if I swipe again, it gives me another filter and it gives me option. I can do black and white if I want. And you can do all this. This tells me the, mo the how many miles per hour I was traveling at the time this was taken. Um, it's 61 degrees in my local area here. If I wanna put that on there, I can. Unfortunately, you cannot move these up or down, so you'll wanna be strategic about if you're gonna use the time or the temperature or the miles per hour, uh, you'll wanna be strategic about uh, what you have in your photo or video so that it, you know that it's gonna be in the middle. And again, you can't make these small or anything like that. It shows you, I guess, your battery meter. It also gives you the ability there based upon location, like Cincinnati or Northern Kentucky. And it's gonna be dependent upon where you're at and what your GPS is saying as to what's gonna show there. And if you go to beyond the location filters, then it, this is just your normal filter. And that actually looks a lot better with that little polarizer on there. So those are filters. And if you want, you can add more than one filter. So for example, I can swipe to put this polarizer filter on there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold my, I'm gonna hold it, my thumb, my left thumb on the screen. It is now pressed down. And now I'm gonna swipe with my other finger and I can choose another thing here. So I'm gonna put the little battery icon there. All right, so what have we covered everything? Have we covered everything on this screen? I think so, uh, except for the ghost icon. Do you see the ghost icon? Let's go ahead and look at the ghost icon. If you want, you can go ahead and just tap the ghost icon and that's gonna take you to your little, and this is called a Boo R code. You've probably heard of a QR code. Um, Snapchat's logo is a ghost and so it's Boo R code. Uh, it has my name because I chose how I want my name to be displayed as Cliff Ravenscraft. My username is Cliff EOTC, which by the way, uh, you can uh, add me if you'd like by username. And this is how you add people you can go ahead and click on add friends. And then once you click on add friends, you can add people by username. You can add people who might be in your address book. You can add by a snap code or a boo R code. Let me go ahead and click on here and see if I have one. So it, what'll happen is it'll look to see if you have any uh, things in there. You have lovely pictures of me without my clothes on. Um, wonderful. That's exactly what I wanted in this tutorial. Well, these are before and after photos of my physical fitness and stuff. But uh, 
Yeah, great photos there, Cliff. Wonderful. I was taking all kinds of photos for profile pictures, and look at that picture at the top right-hand corner. I can't use this in my tutorial. What's that face? <laughs> anyway, uh, it's going to look to see what's there, and if you click on any image uh, that has a BUR code, it will automatically add that friend. And it says laughing out loud because it's my own BUR code. So it, it says funny, funny, haha. All right. But if you have, if you take a picture, if you put the camera on somebody's, if, if you put the camera and you scan somebody's BUR code with the camera mode, it will automatically pull up their thing, their profile so that you can add them as a friend. Or you can screen capture. So if any, if you see somebody's Boo R code and screen capture it, it gets saved to your camera roll on your phone, and then you can um, you can go in here and add by snap code, and it will allow you to pull that up. All right. Um, there's add nearby fe feature. You have to be near. You have to be in a geographically close location to somebody else, and if you are then you can ha hit add nearby, they can hit add nearby, and you can have a group of people do this and you can all add each other if you want. And there's also, there is share username. Now if you click on share username, this will give you the ability to uh, send this as a text message if you want. And it will say here, please add me on Snapchat. All right. And let's see here, we'll send that to myself and what will happen is they will get a text message that says add me on Snapchat. And then if you click on that, it will automatically open up the app or give them the option to open the app. Now it didn't do anything in my case because I shared my own username, but if I had just clicked on the link that somebody else had shared with me, then it will automatically bring me to their profile and I can choose to add them as a friend in my Snapchat. So that's what the add friends functionality is and we're gonna go back here and what we can do now is click on the little icon that says added me or the option that says added me. And it says I have no new friends and it's got the little poo emoji. And that's because what happened is I've already added all the people who have added me. And so if I go down here and click on my friends, you'll see I have a large list of friends in here. Now, when you go in here and click on a friend, let's go in here, for example, we'll go into Pat Flynn. All right, and by the way, Pat Flynn, if you guys wanna follow him, you can screen capture right here if you happen to be watching this on your mobile phone, and then you can add by his Boo R code, but you could also add him by his username, which is Pat Flynn SPI for Pat Flynn Smart Passive Income. And of course, I have the option when I hover, when I basically, how did I get him up here? So here's Pat Flynn in my list, and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press and hold on Pat's name and that's how I got this to pull up. All right, now I have the ability to do three things. I can send him a chat, which is that little blue icon. That's if, if I do that, the chat is to actually send him a um, text message. If I wanna send a picture or a video snap to Pat, I would just click on that purple icon and I would say, hey Pat, it's me. I'm just showing people that I can send you a personalized video. Hey Pat, it's me. I'm just showing people that I can send you a personalized video. All right, so there you go. And I just hit the little arrow to send that off to Pat and now that is gonna get sent off to Pat. Okay, so we're gonna go back up to the screen here. And by the way, that's another tip to tell you. You don't have to click the ghost icon. If you want, you can just tap on the screen and swipe down and it'll bring this down as well. All right, so we've talked about added me. We've talked about my friends. Oh, let's go back to my friends for just a second. The first option that we have here is we can edit Pat's name so that we can have it display on our list in a different way than he might have set it up himself. And for example, that's where I put the A hyphen in there so that he's at the very top of my contact list. Another option that we have here on the gear icon is I can remove him as a friend and so I'm no longer following him and I could choose to block Pat. Of course, I'm not gonna do that, but uh, blocking would allow me to no longer be able to see what Pat's doing. I won't see anything of his, his stuff. He also will not be able to see me anymore. He won't see any of my pi private stuff, and he won't see anything in my stories either. Okay, so at least I believe that's the case. I, I can't be 100% for sure. Okay, so we've talked about my friends, how to add friends, and I don't have anybody that's recently added me since I've started this tutorial. 
I've made it so far early on a habit to add everybody who's added me. I don't know that I'll carry that on and I don't know that I'll regret it down the road, but that's the way that I've been doing things up to this point. Anyway, the next thing I want to tell you here real quick is right next to my username where it says Cliff Ravenscraft and then it says Cliff UOTC, then you see the number 560. And that is actually called your Snapchat score. And how you increase that number from what I understand, it's actually based upon the number of personal snaps that you send and receive from your people in your friends list. Uh, It does not have anything to do with your stories. From what I understand, sending snaps to your story doesn't do anything to increase your score. Um, Personally, I don't care too much about the score, but if you want to learn more about it, you can search online and stuff. But it's not the number of friends that you have. It is your Snapchat score. All right. Now, if you want to update your profile picture inside of your BooR code, you just tap the little icon up there. And once you do that, then you will have the ability to press the record button. Now, I am not going to change the one that I have already, but you can if you choose to do so. And at the top right-hand corner of this screen, you'll see the ability for you to click that little up arrow. And what you can do is save image, and that will save your BooR code into your camera roll. In fact, let's go ahead and do this now. We'll take a look and see what that looks like. And now, there you go. It gives you a boo. It gives you your boo R code. It puts your username there, and it lets people know if they snap or screenshot that picture, they can add you as a user on Snapchat. All right. So that's how you can share that out in social media. Let's go ahead and go back into Snapchat. Again, every time you open it up, you're going to be brought to this screen. So that's how you add your profile picture and save your BooR code to your camera roll with your username built in. The next thing I wanna do is I wanna take you up here to your gear icon, all right? And this is where you can change how your name is displayed. You cannot change your username, unfortunately. One of the important things here is who can send me snaps and who can view my story. And if you want, you can change this to where only my friends can send me snaps and only my friends can see my story, or you can choose a custom group of people who can see your story. Now, for me, I, I want to actually change it to where everyone can view my story. So I right now, I have it set to anybody, even if I'm not a friend with them, anybody can send me snaps. Now, if I find that I start getting a lot of spam snaps and stuff like that, then I might change it to where only my friends can do so. As far as who can view my story, that. I kind of like that. So I, I kind of I use this as a way of publishing my content out there and as many people who want to view my story is uh, that's great, right? So that's exactly what I'm going for. So those are the settings. Um, and of course there was a setting where you can see who you've blocked in the past and you can unblock them if you accidentally blocked someone. But now I want to tell you what is most exciting about Snapchat and it's stories. Stories, my friend, is exactly what it's all about. But I want to share with you some snap stories. And I'm just going to go down here to Gary Vaynerchuk. Uh, Is he on? I wonder if Gary is on my. Yeah, Gary's on my list. So we're going to watch Gary's story and click on it. Snapchat secret time. I've been a little lax on these. This is where I'm giving you my best marketing advice of the moment. For the first time ever, you can really, really get to people and small groups that you really want to get to using Facebook ads. For example, if you want to get your books published, you can run content against employees of HarperCollins and Simon & Schuster. All right, he's saying get ready to screenshot something. And he wants you to go and Google this. And I, you know what, it's effective. I went and Googled it and I watched his video that he's talking about there. But that's interesting stuff. Now, I have no idea what Leo Laporte has shared here, but let's take a look. (laughs) Okay, interesting stuff. Next, I'm going to share with you what I've shared in my story today. But I have to remind you that it's going to show you everything that I've done within the past 24 hours. And so I'm going to fast forward it to the story and, and how you can fast forward through it. When you're watching somebody's story, if you don't want to watch the whole 10-second clip, you just tap on the screen and it'll take you to the next snap. All right, so I'm going to take, I'm going to snap, I'm going to click through or tap through on the story until I get to my snaps from today. 
So we're going to four- go through these. Well, hey, folks, it is Sunday afternoon, about 1230, and I am officially kicking off my day by going to Chipotle for lunch. We had an interesting morning. Megan had some friends stay over uh, night because they came in late from the dance, and one of their parents picked them up at 5 o'clock this morning. She had attempted to leave quietly without trying to wake anybody up, but what she didn't know is that our alarm was set, and when she opened the front door, it went off. When the alarm goes off, there's a pretty loud siren that goes off with it, and as you can imagine, everybody in the house got a wake-up call at 5 o'clock this morning. Anyway, I eventually made it back to sleep, and I think I probably slept in until about 9.30 this morning. Just been laying back and relaxing. It's Sunday. However, I did put off all my to-do items from yesterday, which means that Stephanie and I need to do accounting today. That has to be done. But first, I'm heading to Chipotle. back home and Stephanie says that she is going to run some errands, which means we can't do accounting together until 4.30 this afternoon. It's currently 1.42 in the afternoon, which means I have time to get some other things done. And I think I'm going to record an audio-only episode of the Cliff Ravenscraft Show. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Cliff Ravenscraft Show. I am Cliff Ravenscraft and this, my friends, is episode number 640. I was recording for about 30 minutes, and then I decided to stop recording that podcast episode. Want to know why? I got about 25 minutes into the episode and started talking about Snapchat and realized I was trying to teach people how to use the app in audio. I ended up stopping the recording, deleting it, and now I think I'm going to record a video tutorial on how to use Snapchat instead. If I'm going to do that... I should probably go shave. And there you go. That's the end of my story so far today. Now, if I want to add to this story, I I just swipe back over to the camera mode, and I do this. And well, my friends, as you can see, I have shaved, and I am now recording the video tutorial for Snapchat. I'm going to give you the URL below, but it won't be active until later. And well, my friends, as you can see, I have shaved. And I am now recording the video tutorial for Snapchat. I'm going to give you the URL below, but it won't be active until... And well, my friend... Okay, and so I hit the X at the top right-hand corner. And the reason why is because it cut off at the end. And I did not get all of that in quickly enough. And now it did not send that anywhere. It doesn't send anything to anybody unless you tell it to send somebody to send it somewhere. So what I did is I X'd out and I'm gonna to try to do that again, this time under 10 seconds where it doesn't cut me off at the end. Hey guys, as you can see, I have shaved and in fact, I am recording the tutorial right now. I'm gonna put a link below, but it won't be active until much later this evening. Hey guys, as you can see, I have shaved and in fact, I am recording the tutorial right now. I'm gonna put a link below, but it won't be active until much later this evening. Hey guys, as you can see, I. Have All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the little mute icon. That's the little speaker icon down at the bottom. Here's the thing though, I'm only muting it so that you can see the options that I have here. If you send this to somebody with that little mute icon, it will not play the audio for them. So they they will get the video without any sound. And you you, that actually is a feature uh, if you wanna send somebody video but you don't want to hear the sound that was recorded during that, then then you would hit the little mute icon. But I'm hitting the mute icon here so that you don't have to hear it looping over and over again. Now, what I wanna do is I'm gonna undo this. Actually, no, I'm gonna leave it muted for a second. I'm gonna click the little arrow at the bottom right-hand corner. And what I haven't shown you in the past is the fact that you can send this to, at the very top, my story. It's always gonna be your option, your first option in the list. And if I want, then I can hit the little blue arrow at the bottom and it's gonna send it to my story. Now I can, if I want, send this to other people, multiple recipients, but I don't wanna do that um, in this little scenario here. So I'm gonna go back to my video and I'm gonna, I want to actually send this to my story in a much faster way than multiple clicks. So if I want, I can hit the gray arrow, I can choose my story and then hit the blue arrow. That's one, two, three clicks. But do you see the little square icon down there with the plus in it? Click that and it instantly sends it to your story directly. Now I'm gonna unmute it so that it'll send it with the audio. Later this evening.
All right, so I clicked the little button there and it sent it off to my story. And now I'm gonna click on my story and I'm gonna take us right to where we left off before. So we're gonna just tap through all of these. There's a lot of them. I, if, hey guys, as you can see, I have shaved. And in fact, I am recording the tutorial right now. I'm gonna put a link below, but it won't be active until much later this evening. Ah, and I just realized that I forgot to put the link on there. So I'm gonna go in here and if I want, oh, by the way, um, so when you're in the, the screen over on the right hand side, I'm going to put my finger on the right and scroll to the left. This is going to take you to the stories mode and then you'll see my story is always at the top. I'm going to hit the little bars to the right of that and it's going to show me a list of my story I, uh, snaps. And I'm gonna click where it says just now. Hey guys, as you can see, I have shaved. And in fact, and I'm, I'm gonna click the delete right icon. Gonna... And I deleted that snap because I forgot to put the text overlay. So now I'm gonna go back over here and I'm gonna try this one more time. Well guys, as you can see, I have shaved. And in fact, I'm recording the tutorial right now. I'm gonna put a link below, but that won't be available until later tonight. Well guys, as you can see, I have shaved podcastanswerman.com slash Snapchat. All right, so click done. And where am I pointing to? Uh, let's see here, will that work? Yep. So I'm gonna unmute this and Late send tonight. it. And now let's go back to that portion of my story and make sure it's there. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm in my story. I'm, I'm gonna click on the little icon there. And what you'll see here is you can actually see the number of people who are viewing your story. And I'm relatively new to Snapchat. And so right now I'm getting about 55 people who are viewing everything that I do within the 24 hours. It'll take a while before my newer snaps get caught up by with people. But on average, I'm hitting right around 55 people. So back in the list here. And what I can do is I can see indie, any individual snap. So remember the snap that says Chipotle is my, my happy place. It's right there. I'm going to mute that. But here's my happy place. And if I scroll up on the screen, I see the people who have viewed this. And if I want, I can go in here and I can see Willie Gillis. And I tap on Willie Gillis. And I can choose to add him if he's not a friend already. Or I can edit his name or block or whatever. But you can go in and you can see the list of people who have viewed e each of these. And so you can see right now that 20 people at the top left-hand corner, 20 people have viewed it. And as far as the other icon, if I'm not mistaken, it, it might be a screen capture. How many people have screen captured it? Not quite sure on that. And you can see that I have the option there to delete this as well. Uh, but you can go in and you can delete any one of these things. Now I'm getting some other snaps that are coming in here from people and we'll take a look at those in just a moment. But uh, if we go to my story here and um, look, so nobody has seen the one that I just posted. I'm gonna check to make sure the audio is there and everything is good. Well guys, as you can see, I have shaved and in fact, I'm recording the tutorial right now. I'm gonna put a link below, but that won't be available until later tonight. Okay, so everything's there. The other thing that I wanna tell you is that you can go into any one of these and not only can you see how many people have seen it by scrolling up and then moving it down, but you also have the ability to delete each one individually. We've talked about that. But each individual video or photo snap, you can hit that little arrow down button at the bottom right-hand corner and it will save that individual snap into your camera roll. Or at any time throughout, throughout the day, you click on to expand your story. You'll see this list down here. And if you click this button with the arrow and a circle around it, it'll take and everything that you've posted within your story that's still there that you have not deleted. And of course, your story is typically by default everything that you've posted within the last 24 hours. They'll be able to see that. Now, what I do is I typically, in, in, before I save my story, what I will do is I will say, you know what, I only, want to, I only want things from today. And so there's a lot of people who are still seeing things that I've done last night. And so if I want to at any point, I can say, you know what, I'm done with them seeing the, these older stories. So I'm just going to go in and I'm going to delete all of these snaps that, are not yet fall, that have not yet fallen off because they're not 24 hours old. So now... People who didn't see these before, now they won't be able to ever see them because I am deleting them. And these are part of my story from yesterday. And what I will do is at the end of the day, I will download my story 
from the beginning of the day all the way through the end of the day. And that allows me to have an archive, a video archive of what I've shared throughout my day. And I consider it to be my video blog. And so I'm going all the way up. There are two more to delete. And now my story automatically starts. If anybody hasn't seen my story at all, now if they go to my story today. Well, hey folks, it is Sunday afternoon, about 12.30. We had an interesting morning. I'm tapping through, by she the way. Attempt- when the alarm, anyway, however, I okay, so there you go. As you can see, now my snaps only or my story only includes snaps that started four hours ago on here on Sunday and everything that's happened up until well, right now. And so now that's my story. And at the end of tonight, since I've deleted everything that was earlier than my first snap of the day. At the end of tonight, I will hit that download icon next to my story, and I will download and have a an archive of everything that happened in my day. All right, now here also on the stories page, you're going to see some other things. You're gonna see Discover. Um, you can play around with that. It's really people who have paid to advertise to you. Uh, sometimes if you're really bored, you might see some stuff that you might be interested in. They also have live stories. The, let's just say if you happen to be at the Winter Games, they can tell by geo geotagging it and people will automatically have the option of having their stories included in a live story so these are like live events there's also the sag awards so you can see and they'll do some official stuff as well All right, so there's that. And of course, you have your recent updates. These are people who are friends of mine who are uh, putting things out there. Let's take a look at and see what's going on with Leslie since I last checked in with him. He, he said it was Sunday and he was going to record some podcasts. So let's see what he's up to since then. So that's one down, two to go. Peace. Two and peace. It's the same thing. <laughs> I know, I know. I said I'm getting off Snapchat, but I'm still getting stuff done. So it's, it's all good. But now you're wasting my time. Stop it! When I'm writing and I'm really trying to focus, I listen to classical music. All right, so there you go. Um, but any, anyway, you can go through and you can just see what's going on with your friends. Let's see what's going on with Pat Flynn. Twin cities, twin cities, kind of like that. Twin cities. So I'm going crazy. My book launches tomorrow. I'm just so ah, freaking out. Twin cities. All right, so that's what's going on since last time I checked in with uh, Pat Flynn. Let's see what's going on with my friend Justin Barclay. He's in the kitchen with Lizzie. All right, and then Joel Calm. Happy Sunday, Snapchat. It's going to be a light Snapchat day for me. I've got a lot of talent. All right, so anyway, this is a great way to just... It's it's to find out what's going on in the lives of the people that you're connected with. And it's like Twitter was in the old days where people are just sharing their lives and instead of 140 characters of text, it's the ability to to put video and text together and create a story that you expect your friends to have access to. So that is Snapchat. That takes you through and shows you the details of how to use this app. At least that's what I've learned so far. I don't know that there's a whole lot more beyond it. There, there probably is. But at least this has given you an introduction into the world of Snapchat and what you can do with it. I want to thank you guys for tuning in and watching this tutorial. I hope that it's been helpful to you. If it has, please consider adding me on Snapchat. My username is Cliff EOTC. Again, Cliff EOTC username. Or if you happen to be watching this on a mobile device, you can just screen capture this and then add me by Snapcode. All right. Thank you guys so much. Enjoy Snapchat. I'll see you online.